Breaking news in Clarksdale, Mississippi tonight, where authorities are investigating even more gunfire. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy Redmond. And I'm Joe Birch. This situation and gun violence from over the weekend that left more than a dozen people hurt has many residents of Clarksdale in the Delta living in fear. Action News 5's Bria Bolden is live in Clarksdale right now with the very latest. Bria, what can you tell us? Well, guys, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation is investigating and gathering more information on a shooting that happened here earlier today in Clarksdale. This one where I'm standing now at the 1200 block of West 2nd Street that left one person dead and another person injured. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see. Um, police and NBI have left the scene here. But at this time, we're told this is not considered to be an officer-involved shooting, but Clarksdale Dale police did tell us they turned this case over to the NBI because in their words, there is a conflict with their agency and someone involved. Now, more information may be released soon. That will come from the NBI. Now, that on top of an already violent weekend here in Clarksdale, three shootings on Sunday, Clarksdale police tell us, are all connected. Those shootings leaving 14 people injured, one of them seriously. Surveillance video shows the moments gunfire rang out and people ran for their lives. More than a dozen hit by bullets in downtown Clarksdale. It, it sounded like a war zone. Robert Franklin was just one of several people ducking and hiding to avoid the spray of bullets just feet away early Sunday morning. Just like, you know, in the movies or uh, at, a, at a gun range, it just... But it, it's, it was totally out of place. Like, this is not supposed to happen here. Clarksdale police say 14 people were shot in three separate shootings on Delta Avenue, West 2nd Street, and hit at the intersection of Friars Point Road and Florence Avenue. Police say two gangs, one from Tunica County and another from Cahoma County, are to blame. It was, it was a fight at the concert. They left the concert, and they, everybody just gathered up at the 300 block of Delta. And that's where the first incident occurred. Sergeant George Johnson with the Clarksdale Police Department says 12 of the 14 were shot on Delta Avenue, feet away from businesses and homes. And at this time, we don't have any suspects, but we're on the verge of closing in on the case. One day later, shell casings and bullets can be found in front of businesses, leaving many in the community shaken up and wanting those responsible caught quickly. Even though that crowd is there and, and maybe the likelihood of those crowds resulting in, in violence. It wasn't everyone being violent. It was just a few people. And uh, if we can get those people off the streets and in prison uh, for a long time, that will make everyone else safer. All right, so Clarksdale Police are working with ATF and the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation in connection to that investigation. Meanwhile, the 13 of 14 victims have been released from the hospital. One remains in the hospital tonight with a serious leg injury. If you know anything about that investigation, make sure you reach out to the Clarksdale Police Department. Reporting live in Clarksdale, Mississippi tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. All right, Bria.